Rotten Apples, Part 1. Preparing a managed iPad cart for possible restore failures due to an unfixed problem that causes the Apple Configurator automatic update and restore process to fail unexpectedly. By Dale Mahalko, January 2013. And now I'm going to flip the cart back around the other way. And now to prepare for the syncing process, I have to flip all the iPads over so that I can reach the power button. The reason for this is because Apple screwed up something in one of their iOS updates in the last year. It used to be that you could just sync these from a Mac from the Apple configurator and it would just work no problems but um, something changed in one of their iOS updates so that it's no longer a simple process to update them um, the when the machine updates at some point during the update it will turn itself off and um, it's supposed to turn itself off and turn itself back on by itself during the update process. However, due to this change that Apple made, they simply turn themselves off now, but they don't turn themselves back on. But meanwhile, the Apple configurator is expecting that the um, Mac will be restarting and that the process will be continuing. And if you just start the update process and you walk away, the update is going to fail because the Macs or the iPads are going to all do the update. They're going to turn off and they're going to stay off. And after a couple minutes, Apple Configurator just gives up says, where's the iPad? It's supposed to be running, but I can't find the iPad. And so the upstate status changes to failed, and you basically have to start over. So, um, and the update process is not a short process. It can take 30, 45 minutes to do an update on all of these all at the same time. And when they get to the point where the update is supposed, or the turnoff is supposed to occur, there is no alert from Apple Configurator that it is now about to power off and restart the iPads. So you have to sit here and babysit these while they're updating. You can't just walk away. Someone has to stay nearby for 30 to 45 minutes while the iPads are all being updated. And then when that turnoff occurs, you have to be vigilant and turn on the iPads. Now the way that you tell is that you look at the screens. Oh, I just noticed something. I forgot a step here. Um, you have to be able to see the screen while the iPads are updating. And these are, um, these are like the magic iPad covers where when you cover it, it turns off the screen. Well, we actually want to see the screen while they're powering up. So actually, I have to open the cover so that the screen is on and then insert it into the slot here. The screen won't get scratched because there's a thick bumper around the case. So actually I have to go back and, and reflip these. Pardon me, my mistake. I shouldn't have to do this at all if iPads could be updated without needing them to be turned off and on. but. Apple screwed up and they don't seem to be fixing it. This problem has existed now for about a year and there's no sign that Apple acknowledges there's a problem or that they're going to do anything to resolve it. So this is this is what I have to do to work around their issue. And also I have to stagger these in and out because these have the little high power magnets 
it's the high power magnets that make the screen turn on and off. Well, if they're if they're all lined up flat with one another, these can actually stick to each other and turn them off as if the cover were on. See, like this, and it, it did click. It turned off. So I have to separate them and offset them so the magnets don't line up between each open case. Also, to get this to work, I had to pull out some extra slack on these wires. There's a little extra slack here. There's a little more slack than what you actually need. But I need to have this extra slack so that I can flip the iPad over and have the power button sticking out. see all their screens. Yep, okay, that, they're all on. Now, none of this should be necessary. What I'm doing right here, this is all because of Apple's iOS bug that causes the iPads to turn off during the update and stay off. This is all working around Apple's failure to fix their problem. And notice that this takes a lot of time. I have to waste a lot of time here. I have to do this to prepare these to be updated. And then once the update process is done, I'm going to have to do all this in reverse. I'm going to have to flip all the covers closed and flip all the covers, or all the iPads, so that the power button is facing out again. This one isn't turned on, so I have to turn on the power before I put it in here.
this one doesn't want to go in. I guess the cord must be a little too short for that one. A little too snug. It'll still work. Okay. They're now all flipped over. Okay, so once again, the point of doing all this is that while the update is occurring, there's going to be things happening on the screen. I'm going to be able to look over here and I'm going to see that there's activity occurring on this iPad. And um, when the iPad turns off, power button is right here. So during the update process, I can reach over and turn on this iPad manually during the update. And then the update will continue and it will succeed. But so I will have to sit here and watch these for 30 to 45 minutes until we get to the point where that turn off occurs and turn it on. And uh, it's quite a hassle to have to do all this. I shouldn't have to do all this, but well, that's just the way it is. So, all right, next segment. <laughs>